Supergirl is getting a new look for season 5, and it's as much a matter of practicality as it is of fashion. The new look was unveiled to fans at San Diego Comic-Con, and the series star Melissa Benoist had a hilarious explanation for fans. She's tired of freezing her legs off. Supergirl, aka Cara Danvers, has undergone a few slight tweaks to her wardrobe during the show's run, most notably during season 4's climactic battle with John Cryer's Lex Luthor and the Red Daughter. That costume switch may have been born of necessity, but Cara's new look seems to be more of a direct fashion statement, an evolution of her classic costume that aligns a little more closely with the aesthetic of her famous cousin, Superman. The biggest difference? Pants. 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 According to Benoist, she and the series producers simply figured that it was time for a little update. But as Benoist told Entertainment Tonight, there was another reason for the switch as well. That reason has to do with the fact that Supergirl shoots primarily in Vancouver, Canada, and often in the dead of winter. Then we moved to Vancouver, and it was cold and it rained. <laughs> and we're on the ground. All the time. <laughs> and it feels right. It feels like the good, like a, the right evolution and the right time to do it. Although Benoist has acquitted herself spectacularly in the role of Supergirl, it's now a apparent that her performance has actually been even better than she's been given credit for. If you've ever tried to play it off as if you're not extremely uncomfortable while freezing your tail off, you know that it's darn near impossible. For that matter, kudos to the cast of the rest of the Arrowverse series, which also shoots in Vancouver during those months when the weather will pretty much kill you if you're exposed to it for too long. They, however, have at least gotten to wear pants for the duration of their show's runs. In addition to Kara's new look, Supergirl Season 5 will also feature a decidedly distinct aesthetic from Season 4 which saw the Girl of Steel thwarting Luther's plans to sow discord between the human and alien populations of Earth. The season carried some obvious political overtones, and while the themes explored in Season 5 will be much different, they will be just as topical. Comic-Con fans were treated to a special preview of the new batch of episodes, which will deal with society's deepening reliance on technology, with executive producer Robert Rovner going so far as to call it the show's Black Mirror season. Kara will also have to deal with the wrath of her friend and Lex Luthor's sister, Lena, who was pretty unhappy to discover that Kara had been hiding her secret identity from her for their entire relationship. The trailer also confirmed that Lex Luthor, who had been shot and left for dead by Lena, was indeed rescued from his fate by the Monitor. He'll be back to menace our hero in the new season. Season 5 has also added a few interesting supporting characters, including Veronica Mars's Julie Gonzalo as Andrea Rojas, a businesswoman with superheroic aspirations. Joining her will be Game of Thrones' Staz Nair as William Day, a hard-boiled reporter hiding his connections to the criminal underworld. Finally, Being Human's Megan Rath will portray a female Brainiac 5 joining her real-life brother Jesse Rath, who portrayed a male Brainiac 5 in previous seasons. We'll see how all of the intrigue and interdimensional weirdness plays out, as well as how Supergirl Season 5 might connect to the big crisis on Infinite Earths crossover slated for this winter when the new episodes begin airing on The CW on October 6th. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superheroes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.